Hello, Sergeant Devil Dog here, and welcome to my video on Minecraft for Dummies farming. During this video, we're going to learn where we can find different types of seed around the map so we can actually make a crop farm. How to prepare the ground before planting the seed, and what we need to do to actually find multiple varieties. As you can see, the most easiest seed to find is simply by going around the map and pr punching grass. This will give you wheat seed. With wheat seed you can grow wheat to lure cows back to your farm. You can also make bread out of the wheat. I like making my farm beds around 10 pieces long and 2 pieces wide so we'll just go around and keep punching grass until we've got about 20 seeds this normally only takes a couple of minutes as you can see there's a lot of tufts of grass laying around the map so it won't take very long to actually find the grass seed what we then need to do is find a water source either a river or a pond that we can get some water most plants will actually grow as long as you're within two squares of the water so I like that's the reason I like to make my beds too wide with a trench of water running either side now that we've got 20 seeds we'll head over to where I've located some water earlier on and we'll start preparing our bed The first thing I like to do when I get to my pond is square it up so I can make it easier to make my beds 10 by 2. The second thing I'm looking for is to make sure there's no flowing water in the pond. If there is, you need to stop the water from flowing, which I'll show you how to do in later on in the video. Then pull your shovel out and dig a heap of dirt so we can actually make our beds. Go back over to your pond and simply place the dirt down in beds too wide leaving a gap on each side for a trench full of water once you have made your bed simply pick out your hoe and press L2 button on the PlayStation which will cultivate the ground make your bed 10 long and too wide then take out your seed wheat seed is green as you can tell and simply place it in the ground. Now that we have planted our seed we need to square the bed up. So simply take out your shovel if your bed's not already square and dig away the clumps of dirt to make a trench of water next to your bed. As you can see I've taken my time to let the trench fill up with water. Now get more dirt and simply make another two beds or three beds depending on how big your room is. Two by ten. Method one is actually dive in the water and swim and just place it down. Method two, stand on top of the dirt and just reach out placing your two clumps of dirt down. Method three, you can actually just crouch down and actually walk out on top of the dirt you're trying to actually put in the water and as you can see you will not fall in the water this method takes a little bit longer but it's also handy for when you're actually building different buildings at height you can actually work over the edge of the block without falling off so what we'll do is just keep going and finish off our beds once all our beds are made we will go over and fix up the sugar cane as you can see there is a square too long on this side so we'll just backfill them so all the beds are the same size over here we'll just make a new bed by digging a trench next to our wheat as you can see as you dig the blocks out the water starts flowing down the trench 
you need to pull your bu a bucket out and actually fill the trench in to stop the water from flowing as you can see in the trench on the right hand side the water's not flowing so simply just grab a bucket of water and dump it about every two squares along which will stop the water from flowing we'll put one more bucket right at the end of the trench and now the trench is finished we'll head up to the other end and actually make a bed so we can grow the sugar cane with sugar cane it needs to be planted one square next to water if you put it two squares from the water it will not grow so there has to be water on both sides of the bed simply take it your shovel and dig the trench the same as we did at the other end near the wheat don't forget to pick up your sugar cane simply take your bucket out and fill the trench back in so there is no flowing water by putting a bucket every two squares once we are finished with the sugar cane we need to think of what other plants we need to find to plant in our garden. The easiest way to find other plants such as potatoes, carrots and beetroot is find a farm. Most farms are in villages so we need to explore around the map to find a village so we can get some seeds. What we're going to do before we go is fix up the cane simply knock off the heads of the cane plants leaving one sprout in the ground remember you can find sugar cane growing near most rivers or along the coastline so as we explore we look for some of that we have located a village and as we explore the village we'll find farms this is a farm this farm has potatoes in it as you can see for every potato i pick I actually pick three, I receive three potatoes. Don't forget when you're actually harvesting the beds in the villages to replant the beds so you can always come back and get more seeds later if you want to grow your farm. So simply pick the potatoes and using one potato out of the three you get, simply replant the bed. Once you have emptied the bed, simply move around the village until you find another bed. This bed has carrots and potatoes in it, so we will do the same. Simply pick a carrot and use the carrot to replant. As you can see with carrots, you get two for one. So every time you pick one, you'll get two to three carrots. So simply just replant the bed. Continue harvesting repick these potatoes replant the bed as we go then we'll keep searching around the village to hopefully find some beetroot that's bed two down now on to bed three let's hope we'll find something different in this bed there is wheat this is the second method of actually finding seed to grow wheat is for every time you harvest a piece of wheat you get a bundle of wheat and some seeds simply just harvest the wheat and replant the bed for the seed you get off by harvesting with wheat when you're harvesting it you'll get two pieces of seed for every t clump of wheat you harvest so you'll have plenty of wheat seed onto bed three bed three has carrots and beetroot simply harvest the carrot the same way as we did in bed two by picking the carrot and replacing it when you actually harvest beetroot you'll get a light brown seed as well as a piece of beetroot simply replant the bed with the brown seed and keep the beetroot you pick up you can use the beetroot to make a soup or you can just eat it when you eat a piece of beetroot it only heals one piece of your food 
as on our way back to our farm we're going by the river so we can actually pick up some extra sugarcane to finish planting our sugarcane bed out you simply just follow the river around until you find sugarcane and punch the top two or three stalks out leaving the one stalk in the ground so it will grow later now that we're back at our farm we'll continue to plant out our farm simply pick up our sugarcane and go up to our sugarcane bed and plant the rest of the bed out as you can see sugarcane just goes directly into the ground you do not need to get out your chipping hoe and actually cultivate the ground we will remove our chipping hoe by pressing right two we will dig the ground and simply plant a bed of potatoes two wide ten squares long as you can see when I'm actually planting my seed I normally only like to dig half my bed this is because if you leave the ground open for too long before planting your seed the bed will actually go back to normal ground and you'll have to re-dig the bed a second time so the next bed we're going to plant is carrots so simply get out your chip and hoe dig half your bed place your carrots down and then continue on digging the other half placing your carrots down once we finish our bed of carrots it leaves us with one more bed to make which is our beetroot. We'll make our way to the end of the farm, pull our chip and hoe out and simply dig two squares wide by ten and we'll plant our beetroot. As you can see I've only got three seeds left so I'll quickly have to run away and grab some more seeds. I'm back. Now we'll finish on cultivating our bed of beetroot and finish off planting it. Once we finish planting the beetroot we'll go for a little bit of a wonder and see if we can find some other seeds out in the wilderness. The things we're looking for are watermelon and pumpkins. These orange square blocks here are actually pumpkins. Simply pull out your axe and actually cut it into the pumpkins which will cut it from the vine you'll pick up a whole pumpkin you need to take that back to your farm or if you're carrying a set of shears the same shears you use to cut wool off sheep simply cut into the pumpkin and this will drop some seeds pumpkin seeds which you can plant in your garden If you like the video and the content I have in my video, please feel free to hit the like button at the bottom of the screen. If you would like to watch more videos in my series, please feel free to hit the follow button so you can be notified when my next video is coming out. And please feel free to subscribe to the channel. That way I know the videos I'm putting out I've got the content you would like to see. The last thing we found as we we're actually exploring is sweet berries. These are found up in the hills wherever you find pine trees. These are normally around pine trees. Just be careful with sweet berries because they do have spikes on them. So if you run into them, they will injure you. In bed one we have beetroot, bed two we have wheat, bed three we have carrots, bed four we have potatoes, bed five we have sugarcane, around the corner we have some watermelon followed by some pumpkins, along the back we have some sweet berries and in the corner we have bees. That's all for my video, I'll catch you on the next one.